in racing and he knew he collapsed on the scales. He really did. Let's see what happens here. Being called in for the Weatherby's Cheltenham Festival Betting Guide 2009. Mayor's Novices Hurdle. Two miles, nine flights. Lining up. They're off. Here we go. Never lost is going to take him along, and he's got a nice eight-length advantage already as they go down towards the first. In second place is the French Raider Gaspier, and then in third is Miss Saren jumping the first. The leader didn't jump that too well. All safely over the first. She's so pretty as the back marker early on. So down the hill for the first time, and uh, as they go to it, Tony McCoy going nicely on Miss Saren, running in third place at the moment. Up front, it's never lost two leads from the French Raider Gaspier in second. The one that's going on its own on the inside, that is Ashley's Petal. So going down towards flight number two of the nine on their first circuit here. And up front, never lost. Noel Feely leads by a couple of lengths from Guaspier, the French Raider. Then third towards the outside is Ruth Enoise. Keeping this one company is Shannon Girl with Miss Saran. Then jumping on the inside, Ashley's Petal, the back marker is She's So Pretty. That's the order as they make the bend at the far end of the course. On the inside, Ashley's Petal, but on the outside, it's never lost two leads. From in second place, we've got Gaspier. Third, Ashley's Petal. Fourth in the dark green colors of the beige cap is Tony McCoy on Miss Saran. Then comes Ruth Enoise. Behind Mu Ruth Enoise is She's So Pretty. And Shenandoah Girl, who won a couple of days ago on the flat, is the back marker of the seven. Coming back towards us, coming towards flight number three of the nine. They'll be jumping in this uh, Weatherby's Cheltenham Festival Betting Guide 2009 Novices Hurdle. And up front on the left is Never Lost. Just, oh, nearly, nearly went there. <laughs> Nearly went in the water. Never lost, but okay. And up front, it's now the French Raider Guaspier from on the inside, Ashley's Petal. Stand side, never lost. And between these is Miss Saran. There's only a couple of lengths between the leading four. Then Ruth Enoise. So passing the stands, a complete circuit in front of them. And Tony McCoy going the far side, lying in third place on the moment. Ashley's Petal leads on the far side from Guaspier. Then in third is Miss Saran. Tracking this one, Ruth Enoise. On the outside, it's never lost from Shenandoah Girl and the back marker, she's so pretty. Going towards flight number five, line, a circuit to run. And up front, it's the French Raider Graspier who now goes on. From up on the outside, never lost. In third place is Miss Saren, Tony McCoy. Fourth on the inside, Timmy Murphy, Ashley's Petal. Then comes Shenandoah Girl. Behind Shenandoah Girl is uh, Ruth Enoise. And behind Ruth is the back marker, she's so pretty. Going towards the top of the hill where they started from. Four flights left to jump in this 345 race here at Plumpton. Going towards the outside again is uh, Never Lost on the inside in the maroon colors Glaspier. And between the two, the dark green with the beige cap, Tony McCoy going for that 3,000th winner on Miss Saran. Then right behind is Ruth Enoz, who moves well. Then comes Shenandoah Girl. That's the leading quintet, and uh, Miss Saran now jumps the front. Fair mistake there by Shenandoah Girl back in fifth. Tony McCoy leads down the back straight for the last time on Miss Saran. In second place is the French Raider Gaspier. Then comes in third place now uh, Ruth Enoise taking closer order. And towards the outside is Never Lost. That's the leading four as they go down the hill towards the third last. One on the far side, two when they get round into the home straight. And in the beige cap, it is just Miss Seren. From on the inside, Gaspier. Towards the outside, we've got Ruth Enoise. Here they come and jump it. There's only a length between the three. Miss Saren in the middle. From on the inside, Gaspier. And on the outside, Ruth Enoise. These three settle down to battle it out. The champion jockey now goes on. The leader by a length. Miss Saren has the lead. In second place is Gaspier. Third on the outside is Ruth Enoise. There's still only a length between them. Here they come back towards us. Two flights left to jump. Tony McCoy going for the 3,000th win. Leads on Miss Saren. Right behind in second is Gaspier. Under pressure is Ruth Enoise. Two flights left to jump. Miss Saren. Tony McCoy comes to it now. Here they come. Miss Saren jumps it by three or four lengths. He's in front and he's looking good. Coming towards the final flight. Tony McCoy looks round. Miss Saren. Five clear. Coming towards the final flight. Can can this be victory number 3,000? He's down at the last. It's tough faller drama here. Tony McCoy's on the deck. The horse is down as well. And Gaspier is coming home to win it. Gaspier from Ruth Enoise. What a dramatic day here at Plumpton today. Can you believe it? Gaspier wins in second place is Ruth Enoise. In third, Ashley's petal. Tony McCoy and the horse are up. Oh, my God.
God, what an absolute terrible end to the race for Tony McCoy and his followers there. A horrendous fall for that poor filly, Miss Seren. But she is up OK, and uh, AP is up on his feet as well, just when you thought he was home and hosed. And uh, she falls at the last. And uh, I'm not sure. Well, let's men mention Gatsby, because that is a double for Francois Duman and Barry, Barry Canary. But what happened there, do you think, Mick? Well, it's just, you know, she's just clipped the top, really. That's all it was. And, you know, amazing. It's a shame, because, you know, everything had gone swimmingly. She was actually quite keen to wait through the race. And, you know, AP said, right, OK, you know, come on, let's go and win your race. And, you know, she's, you know, whether she slipped or what, I don't know. But, you know, it was just very, very unfortunate. Oh, just desperate. I mean, we're all there saying, oh, that's it. He's done it. He's ridden his 3,000th. And, of course, counting the chickens before the hatched is always a foolish thing to do because she was motoring, a moral winner. But, of course, jumping. Uh, and she jumped so well. And the other the other um, filly hadn't jumped quite as well, Gaspia. Oh, no, Gaspia made an awful lot of mistakes all the way around. Looked like that, you know, everything... She just didn't really seem to be give, giving any respect to these English hurdles as opposed to the French ones. And, uh, you know, it's a funny old game, really. Well, you wouldn't uh, like to be... You can't imagine what uh, Tony McCoy's feeling at the moment now. He looked like he'd got it in the bag. He's wasted down to do 10 stone four, and that ha that happens. Yeah, well, it's, it just goes to show you there's no such thing as a good thing in racing. And, you know, the gods weren't smiling on him today. I just... Uh, Second win, though, for Francois Dumain and Barry Canary, and uh, all gone well for them today in this mud. Uh, we did actually see another horse take a false step or some little stumble over. I wonder if they might almost just be considering having another look out there. Well, I would, you know, looking at you know how those horses were galloping around there, you know, they were, they were splashing through an awful lot of water, and, you know, it's, we'll probably see some pictures this evening of AP walking back disconsolate because not only is he going for his 3,000 winner, but he's, he's such a, the ultimate professional AP that it will really, really annoy him when something like that happens because he'll feel like it was his fault when ultimately it wasn't. You know, but he, that's why he is and has ridden the amount of winners he has. Yeah, absolutely. I imagine he'll go back in and watch the replay and see if there's anything that could have been done differently. Yeah, well, that's why he's got where he is. And, you know, he is... You know, he's been champion jockey for the last 13 seasons for that reason. He's absolutely meticulous. Now, you did mention that Gaspia had some good form to a horse that you knew there. And Gaspia has gone and done the races, uh, done and won the races in this mare's novices hurdle. Let's go and confirm the SP. Absolutely unbelievable stuff at uh, Plumpton there. The ground, very, very testing indeed. Miss Seren just had to pop the last. She landed very heavily. Good to see that she got up afterwards. Tony McCoy, OK. We should give some credit, though, to the winner, Caspia. Well done, Francois Dumain. And Barry Canary double up the day after Millennium Royal won earlier on, but surely he was only booked for second place.